It's a mysterious story, and Joe Biden has always been a storyteller. Usually, he's stealing stories from the Kennedys, Hubert Humphrey, British diplomats, but he's never plagiarized a Rockefeller. That is until now. This week, Biden told us cannibals ate his uncle in New Guinea. My uncle, they called him Ambrose, they called him, call him Bozy. My uncle Bozy was a hell of an athlete, they tell me when he was a kid. And he became an Army Air Corps before the Air Force came along. He flew those single-engine planes as reconnaissance over war zones. He got shot down in New Guinea, and uh, they never found the body because there used to be there a lot of cannibals. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. For real, in that part of New Guinea. Primetime still can't get over the story. The Pentagon called Biden a liar. The truth? Uncle Bozy was the passenger in a plane that went down in the Pacific when its engines failed. There was even a survivor who never mentioned anyone being eaten. Binder was asked about it today and said cannibalism is no laughing matter. Why is President Biden saying that his Uncle Bozy was eaten by cannibals? The president had a emotional and um, I think a symbolic moment. He had an opportunity as president uh, to honor his uncle's service in uniform, who lost his life when the military aircraft he was on crashed in the Pacific after taking off near New Guinea. Why is he saying that his uncle was eaten by cannibals? That is a bad way to go. He lost his life. It's not, look, I, I'm not, we should not make jokes about it's this. Not, wait, wait, President wait. President Biden said no, that his no. uncle was eaten by cannibals. I mean, your, your last line, it's, it's for a laugh. It's for a, a, a funny, a funny statement. And he takes this very seriously. No one takes this more seriously than New Guinea. Diplomatic relations between the United States and New Guinea have now hit an all time low. Turns out you accuse a country of eating your uncle. They don't take it lightly. Countries have gone to war over much less. Locals on the island say President Biden's story is unacceptable. They say the cannibals wouldn't just eat any white man that fell from the sky. The whole episode just leaves a bad taste in our mouths. One journalist actually visited these tribes and they'd never even seen a white guy. If Uncle Bozy was eaten 80 years ago, surely tribal elders passed this history down to the next generation. The Great White Feast, they'd call it. Fact checkers appear to be shy. The Associated Press says Biden is off on details. NBC says Biden's mischaracterized the circumstance. CNN says Biden's account differs from the account provided by the Pentagon. But here's CNN fact-checking Trump. We just heard a little speech from uh, Mr. Trump. Uh, what'd you make of it? Did he say anything uh, that was not true? He did. I mean, it was mostly uncheckable, subjective opinion, but he did say a few things that weren't, w weren't quite right at very least. So he, he repeated his false conspiracy theory that essentially that Joe Biden is behind this case, which was brought by a locally elected district attorney. He said uh, Biden is behind it. He has his top people working with the DA's office to make sure everything goes right. There is no basis for that. So when Biden says cannibals ate his uncle, he's just off on the details. And when Trump says Biden's Justice Department's railroading him, it's false. Biden can lie all he wants, bring charges all he wants, and if Trump takes issue with anything, they'll throw him in jail. They've taken away my constitutional rights to speak, and that includes speaking to you. I have a lot to say to you, and I'm not allowed to say it. And I'm the only one. Everyone else can say whatever they want about me. They can say anything they want. They can continue to make up lies and everything else. They lie. They're real scum. But you know what? I'm not allowed to speak. And I want to be able to speak to the press and everybody else about it. So why am I gay? about telling the truth. I'm only telling the truth. They're not telling the truth. This New York trial is going to last two months. That's two months with Trump taken off the trail. And if he says the Biden donating judge or the lying star witness or the crazy DA is corrupt, he violates the gag order and gets jailed. Biden can spew hoaxes, plagiarize Michael Rockefeller, and Trump can't say a thing or go anywhere except on Wednesdays and on weekends. And with advantages like that, you'd think Biden would be cruising to re-election. Wrong. Biden world is trying to skip out on the debates. His buddy, David Frum in The Atlantic, says, the Constitution's not debatable. 
The president does not participate in forums with a person under criminal indictment for his attempt to overthrow the Constitution. Jail your rival, duck debates to save democracy. You know the real reason Biden doesn't want to debate? Because Trump's going to say, your uncle was eaten by cannibals, huh, Joe? White House correspondent Peter Ducey joins me now. Are they just eating this up at the White House press room? Jesse, it is not funny. I'm so sorry. It is. I'm a, sorry. It is a bad way to go. You're right. But, I'm sorry. You know, I, the other day, the other day, Wednesday, I'm on the fourth floor of the Union Steelworkers headquarters in Pittsburgh, and President Biden's going through all of his normal lines that he says at these things. Oh, unions built the middle class, and we're gonna challenge China and add new tariffs. That's great. And then he gets to the end and he's talking about Uncle Bozy, a new character. And I, I try to listen to everything that Joe Biden says. Yeah. Uh, Uncle Bozy is a new character for the reelection. But he says this thing about how they never found his body because he crash landed in an area that there were a lot of cannibals. And the union guys were kind of looking around like that is a crazy story. Wow. Um, <laughs> It, but it, it does not seem like it is true. And I'm really surprised. When I asked in the press room today, uh, people were laughing about it. But again, not a joke. That is a, Ooh, that, is a that would be a terrible way to die. Yeah, the worst. But I, I assumed that they were going to say something like, well, Joe Biden was told this when he was a little kid. Uh, it's part of Biden family lore. He thought it was true. We checked with the Pentagon. Not true. But instead, uh, they did not say that. And because... The Uncle Bozy storyline is part of this thing that Trump likes to talk a lot about. This Atlantic article from 2020, John Kelly says that uh, he heard Trump calling American war dead from World War II, suckers and losers. Uh, Biden tells that story all the time. So it is entirely possible that we will hear this story oh, this again and again and again as we go. You know, you're right about the characters. He'll introduce a corn pop or black Somali or chop Somali, I forget which one it is. And these will become reoccurring characters in the theme of Joe Biden's life. You can't introduce Uncle Bozy eaten by cannibals like 10 minutes before this election's about to start. I mean, do you think that he got this from the Michael Rockefeller legend? Because this just doesn't come out of nowhere. I, I, if I had to guess, Somebody, so we're in Scranton to start the day on Wednesday, and he's at the War Memorial. He sees uh, Uncle uh, Ambrose Finnegan's name etched into the War Memorial, and I I'm sure a lot of memories from his whole childhood start coming back. Somebody told him at some point uh, that this happened. I don't know if it was meant as a joke. I don't know if that is just what they came up when it, their uncle, a war hero, passed away, but... It, it was just right there, and he said it twice on Wednesday. Okay. And now it's made its way all the way to Papua New Guinea, where uh, the quote is, a political science professor told the, the Daily Mail, uh, cannibalism is very specific. They wouldn't just eat any yeah. white men <laughs> that you, fell you, from the sky. You, you got you to gotta recall the ambassador after a diplomatic breach such as that. Please and, do me a favor, though. Ducey, you got to ask the president about... Uncle Bozy. I know you don't have a lot of time I, Jesse, and you never get a lot Jesse, of opportunities, I but I don't care. I went to the Marine One <laughs> departure today. I have what the Defense POW MIA accounting agency said, and I had his comment. I was ready to ask him right. why he thinks that this is the case. Don't let this go. We will try Ducey, do Monday. not let this go. I don't care if something happens is, with Iran, I was through the Ukraine, Ukraine the this is the Russia. First thing are you got to get this in at some point. Do it for us. Do it for Uncle Bozy. It's all right. It's about the rest of the press corps may move on. Respect. We will not. We will not. We will never move on. We will never forget Uncle Bozy.